Uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone, uh, colleagues and, uh, and witnesses and our, our visitors. Uh, I call this hearing to order and will keep my opening remarks uh, very brief uh, because it's uh, so important today that we hear from those uh, behind the dais who have, not from us behind the dais, but those witnesses who have powerful stories that will resonate with each of us. Uh, to our witnesses, um, I've met most of you. I will look forward to having a conversation with you afterwards if that's desirable. But thank you for being here today to share your experiences with this subcommittee. Uh, I speak for all of us when I say that we're uh, grateful for your representation of the United States of America, uh, that you did so well, and that uh, you've done uh, so many things good outside even your sport. We appreciate your willingness to spend your afternoon with us in discussing ways that we can better uh, protect our athletes. Uh, I believe we all wish to see um, Americans successful in international competitions and understand the value of encouraging young athletes to participate in our nation's thriving sports culture. This subcommittee, which exercises jurisdiction over the U.S. Olympic Committee and amateur sports, is fully committed to ensuring the health and safety of all American athletes from youth sports to Olympians. In January, Senator Blumenthal and I launched a bipartisan subcommittee investigation to examine cultural and systemic problems regarding abuse after serious and disturbing revelations that former USA gymnastics team Dr. Larry Nasser sexually abused hundreds of athletes over two decades, even well after survivors alerted authorities about his actions. Together, we have sought extensive documentation from the U.S. Olympic Committee, from USA Gymnastics, and from, Mich and from Michigan State University regarding uh, this, spe this specific case. To further expand the investigation, we've requested written documentation from all national governing bodies on their policies and procedures in reporting, handling, and combating abuse, and their use of uh, athlete organization non-disclosure agreements. Today's hearing represents the next step in our investigation. The ranking member and I met with several athletes earlier this year, including two of our witnesses here today, and we felt it was absolutely necessary to have your experiences shared with the subcommittee. I'm also eager to hear our witnesses' advice and recommendations on what Congress ought to be doing to make certain athletes are protected from predators and can freely participate in their sport without fear of abuse. I appreciate the incredible bravery of our witnesses and their willingness to be here to discuss these sensitive topics. You are all enormously talented and successful athletes who made your country proud, but were taken for granted by the organizations you represented. You were let down by individuals you trusted, but who chose to ignore you, to look the other way, or to deliberately cover up the abuses you suffered because their priority, simply put, was not your safety or your well-being. Thank you for your time that you've taken to prepare and to present your testimony today. And finally, while she's not here today, another abuse survivor, Michaela Maroney, has submitted written testimony to the subcommittee. Ms. Maroney, as many of you know, is another Olympic gold medal winning gymnast abused by Larry Nasser, and whom was alleged to have been silenced from speaking out by USA Gymnastics through an NDA. I ask unanimous consent that her testimony be entered into the record without objection. With that, I now turn to the ranking member of the subcommittee, Senator Blumenthal, for his opening remarks.